Good afternoon, students. You are welcome. Calculus of several variables. Course outline. You look at function of several variables. Including domain range. Is that okay? Then limit and continuity. Function of several variables. Three, you can partial differentiation. Then Partial differentiation is applications gradients divergence and care operators. Then look at instruments. Is that okay? Let's look at uh, capture here. Okay, five. Double integral. Double integrals. Hmm? Type one, type two, type three, type four, type five. Then we look at purple. Double integrals including the green seal include the green seal purple integral purple integral is that okay and yet purple integrals the time will not permit us to do more. That region still. Stokes. Stokes still. And that's it. Recommended books. If you get any book on multivariate calculus, I've sent a tech class of what? But very careful by Sokoski. Is that okay? So recommend it. If you get a book by Steward Books. Motivate. Careful. By James T. Watts, J. T. Watts. If you get any book on what to wear it, what to wear it, care colors by Sokolsky. So costly. Now when you have it, can you get me my camera?
So, function of several variables. What I don't know. Maybe I have this a manufacturer. Is that okay? Maybe suppose that you want to manufacture a shirt. So maybe the cost of maybe manufacturing a shirt. Maybe the cost of manufacturing should depend on raw materials and labor, cost of labor. So here, in order to write this one mathematically, that we call model, we are modeling. Is that okay? So the cost of uh, manufacturing shirts, so you can say cost, cost of a shoe, sorry, cost of a shoe. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, it depends on two factors. That's one, raw materials. Then two, cost of labor. Or as an engineer, maybe if you want to manufacture a computer it depends on maybe the raw materials and whatnot and the labor cost so here we can in math we don't want to write all a lot of weights so raw materials you can represent it by x and then cost of labor you can represent it by y is that okay so mathematically these two are the inputs they are the input word factors input and then when we get to well, this two are then this one comes out so this is the output output so the output is okay we say that the output is a function of the input so we can call here f is okay so we say that f is a function of x and y it means that the cost, this means that the cost of what manufacturing or a shoe depends on what raw materials and what and labor. That's it. So always the F here is your output. That's called the image, in other way, image. And what is in the bracket are your input factors. Input factor. And this is also an input factor. What goes for into a, into it is okay to get your output. Is that okay? So for instance, if you have maybe using one, given that or finding the evaluation, let me give you a soft topic. Evaluation. Evaluation of function at a point. It's maybe if you don't understand it in arts, if uh, so maybe using one. Given that f of x y equals to maybe x cubed plus five x squared y plus maybe twenty. Find f of two maybe one two. Is that okay? So five of one two. This means that this x and y are your input or one two so we are looking for the output in other words the image is that okay
we are looking for the output. That means this, the first one, can be the cost of all raw materials. Maybe the cost of raw materials is one Ghana CD, and the cost of labor is what two Ghana CD. So if my cost are these are what would be my output? That's what it means mathematically. So here is our option. So this means that here when you compare our x has been replaced by one and y has been replaced by two, it means that whenever we see x, we put in one. Whenever we see y, we put in two. So here x is one and y is two. So f of one, one two will be one cube plus five times one squared y is two plus twenty. So what do we get? One plus then five times two plus twenty. So ten plus twenty. This will give us thirty one. So that's our output or the image. Now Let's quickly well, move to partial differentiation. That's where our interest lies today. Partial differentiation. At a pre tertiary level, we learn to care close in one variable. This time we are doing like several. One variable or the one where you learn calculus of calculus of one variable. You say one variable, maybe I have y equals to f of x. Now it is. So the x is the independent variable, and the y here is the dependent, or the f is the dependent. That means that, or if I have y equals maybe. 3x squared plus 4x. This means that in order to get y, I might know the x. So we say y depends on all x. So the x is the input factors and y is the output. But if I want to find one, maybe if suppose this has changed, the x has changed that. It's okay. Definitely, once y depends on x, once x has changed, it also causes what a change in y. Is that okay? And that is what we call the gradient, is that okay? Or differentiation. So here, the change in y and by changing x, is that okay? What is it? Maybe y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. When the change is very small, that's when the change of x approaches zero. And when we say that the change is very small, for instance, when you take a flow of water, is that okay? Flow of water, you cannot see breaks. It doesn't mean that there are no breaks, there are breaks, but you can't see with your eyes. You need a microscope, is okay? And that's what the mathematician said that our approach is zero, or flow of fluid. So change of x approach is zero can be, can mean that x is 0. 0.000. 0, 0, 0, 1. Just a, a small number like this, infinitesimal. So when the change is small, then you write this as well. Dy dx as derivative of y with respect to what? x. x as a derivative of we are doing a differentiation. Is that okay? This means that the change well, in x as a result of what the change in y. But today we are going to look at what a situation where what we have two inputs and they are changing. What to be what the corresponding change in the output, and that will term as partial differentiation. So if I have maybe u equals to f of x y, is that okay? And suppose x changes from 
2.5 and then y changes from 3.8 to 4.0 like this here we agree we need that well, even if this one change and this one does not change, it will affect our output. Do you get it? If this also remains or cancel, remains at the equilibrium, and the y also changes, it will also affect our, the output. Or if the both of them are changing, it's okay. So here, because there are two, we can find one. the change of x with respect to u. Is okay, that's partial u with respect to x. Now the change of x as a result in, or as a result of change in u. Then we can also find change of y resulting in, in change of what u and we call this one partial derivatives. Is that okay? And maybe if both of them are changing after that, then we want this sum. You get it, yeah. That's a partial derivative. <coughs> and once we are finding a partial derivative, if I'm finding one partial derivative of u with respect to x, then I will hold one y or a constant because it means that only x is changing, y is not changing. So partial derivative definition. Definition. The partial, sorry, derivative of f of x y with respect to x is written as partial f with respect to x is defined as partial f with respect to x equals to Limits as change of x approaches zero, f of x plus change of x y minus f of x y over change of x. So when we look at this, we could see that the x look at it here, x plus change of x, and yet only x, so you can see that x plus change of x minus x is one. This will cancel with the change of x. But look at the y. y minus y is zero. So it turns out y is zero. It's a constant. You get it. So it turns out that when we are differentiating partial with respect to x, and then any variable apart from x is treated as a constant. And when you a constant, we get, we get zero. You get it. Yeah, provided the limit exists. This definition is not complete unless we add one a clause. Provided the limit. Provided the limit exists. This comes out limit. So the two the partial derivative. Of f of x y with respect to y is written as the f with respect to y 
and defined as Pressure F with respect to Y, limit as change of Y approaching zero, F of X, Y plus change of Y minus F of X, Y over change of Y, provided the limit exists. So, how many people? I hope you are enjoying the lecture. If you don't understand anything, just prepare and ask. That's why you are here. Because of understanding, that is why you are here. Example one. Region one. Given that f of x y equals to maybe x cube plus two x squared y cube plus four y squared. Find A, partial F with respect to X and XY, B, partial F with respect to Y, XY, then C, FX at 1, 2, then D, maybe Partial F Y at maybe minus two three like this. So now that's one A. I find partial F for respect to X. Can I simply write partial F for respect to X is called a partial. And we use a partial when we have more than one independent variable but if you have only one suppose you just f f of x then when i differential use your ordinary derivative so you call this one d dx ordinary ordinary derivative then we call uh, this one partial derivative for this one partial and we use partial when we have one, more than one two or more two or more independent variables independent variables in other words partial is what is a plural and ordinary one is a singular do you get it yeah so once you have find the partial derivative, once you have find the partial derivative, is that okay? Yeah, different look at the denominator. You have find partial derivative to spread x. So it means that when you take f of x here, on the left by f of x, our f of x, f of x y, is what x cube plus two x squared y cube. Like four y squared a partial f for respect to x x y and find partial derivative with respect to x it means that any letter here apart from x is treated as, as a transform 
And we know that when different accounts are here, we get zero. So let's differentiate three x cubed. We get one. Three x squared plus. Look at the middle one. We have a product of our x squared and y cubed. But look at denominator. We are different partial with respect to x. So it means our two is a constant and y cube is also a constant. So once we are multiplying, we are not going to temper with two and y cube. So plus two y cube is also then we differentiate one. The x squared we get on two x like this. And then plus I'm different partial with respect to x. This is y squared. Now they cause for no. It means that 4 is a constant as well as well, the y squared. So I define a constant again against zero. So partial f with respect to x, xy is 3x squared plus 2 times 2 is 4xy cubed. And this is a partial derivative. That means the change in x. The change in, in x <coughs> as a result of what change in what in f is that okay. Now let's go to the second one. Find the partial derivative of f this time with respect to what? y. So b partial derivative of f respect to y x y. You get it? Yeah. So here, once you are different partial with respect to y. Then any letter or any letter in this on the right hand side apart from y is treated as, as a constant. So y is it y? No. So when different it gets zero and skip. Is it okay? Once the other constant is denominator, zero plus. And this is a product of well, x squared y cube. So once I'm given partial with respect to y, y cube is a variable. This is a constant, this is also a constant. So I maintain 2x squared. So I multiply it. So I want to temper with x squared. That's why I get 2. Now I differentiate y cube. I get 3y squared. Then plus. Then partial with respect to y. So 4y squared, you know. Then y squared, you bring the 2 here. That will be 8y. So I then you get what? Partial fxy with respect to y. Over 2 times 3 is 6 x squared x squared y squared plus 8 one y that's the second one now let's go to the third one uh, how many is F subscript X. When you see F subscript X, it's okay. X Y. F subscript X is the same as partial F with respect to X. That's under notation. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. So, if we are asked to find F subscript X, one two, it means that you are finding partial F with respect to X at where one two. At a point one two, that means that we have already found partial f for the spread x. So now we are going to evaluate it at point one one two. So this implies that this partial f x y. So if you compare, is that okay? X is one, y is two. So we know our partial derivative for the spread to or x. So partial f for the spread to x. Or if we don't know. Let me do it. Is that okay? It doesn't score the soup. Is that okay? So, partial with respect to x means that 
any letter apart from X is what is treated as a constant. So in this case, X can be on 3x squared plus. This is a product of what x squared and y cube. So, so far the other thing is respect to x, y cube is a constant, this is also a constant. So 2y cube, then the function of x squared again on 2x plus. So this is figure 0. So here, partial f with respect to x, x, y is 3x squared plus 4xy cube. Then at 1, 2. So partial f x at 1, 2. Hmm? x is 1, y is 2. So here is what? 3 times 1 squared plus 4 times 1, then 2 cubed. And here, what do we get? Partial f with respect to x, 1, 2, is 3 plus 4 times 1 is 4. Is that okay? Let me do 1 by 1. Mm -hmm. 2 raised to 4, 3, 8. So we get 3 plus or 32. So we get 35. That's it. Partial f, x, that's what? 1, 2. So fx12 is 35. And the next one is what? Partial f with respect to y at a point 1, 2. At a point minus 2, 3. So here d. Fy minus 2, 3. Same as partial f minus 2, 3 with respect to y. Because I have cleaned my partial f with respect to y. So I have to redo it. Hmm? So if I find my partial, partial f with respect to y, x y, what is it? With respect to y, so x is a constant, so this is 0 plus 2x squared. And you can say y cube is on 3y squared. Therefore, y is going to be 8y. So, our f, y, x1 is 6x squared, y squared plus 8y. So, at point 0. So, this implies that x is minus 2, y is 4. So we get f y minus 2 times is what? 6 minus 2 squared, 3 squared plus 8 times. So this will give us what? 6, this is 4, 6 times 4, then 9 plus 24. So 24 times 9, what do you get? Oh. 24 times 10 is equal to 24. Is that okay? Minus 24, get yeah, 216. So 216 plus 24 again, get 240. That is it. Now let's move on to Higher other derivatives hmm? before we move to the chain rule and its applications. Higher other derivatives as we did at the pre test here. Is that okay? Higher other derivative for k clause in one variable. So here to do for k clause for of several variables. So higher other derivatives.
Let me look here. One partial squared f with respect to x squared. This is the sum of partial with respect to x. Partial f with respect to x. That is. And we call this one second order partial derivative. Second order partial derivative. And you realize that for partial or derivative, when we are differentiating with respect to x, other variables are all maintained or constant. It's okay. Yeah, that's what we call the word partial. Like maybe. Uh, suppose we have two girlfriends, it's okay if we are with what girlfriend A and girlfriend B calls you, what do you do? You just what? cut her from the line, that means you are doing partial, it's okay. So they mean that one is it's all, it's a constant. So when you finish this one, then you go to the other one, it's okay, yeah. And then two, partial squared f with respect to y squared is same as partial with respect to y. Partial f with respect to y. If I even I can even have a q, partial q and f with respect to x q. That will be partial with respect to x, partial squared with respect to x squared. Like this. Hmm? Then you can even simplify this as partial with respect to x. Then or Partial with respect to x, partial f with respect to x, like this. Okay. Very, very simple. Mm -hmm. Then, for partial f, maybe q f with respect to y q, partial with respect to y, partial squared f with respect to y squared. Like that. Mm -hmm. Then we have mixed partial derivatives. Mixed partial derivatives. B. This is A. So mixed partial derivatives. Partial square f with respect to x y the same as dal with respect to the denominator phase dal x is okay. Then you see that d one of them is gone. We are left with one and then f. So dal f will then this time to refer to y. So we call this one second partial mix derivative. Second order. Next partial derivative. derivative. You get it? Then two. The square f with respect to y x. This there with respect to y. Then the f with respect to x. And this is also a mixed partial derivative. Is okay? Second order. Next partial derivative. And there is a theorem, Chenant. It's okay. And Chenant. Chenant is saying that the mixed partial derivatives are the same. You get it. That means that the order of uh, the partial the mixed partial derivative is immaterial, it's not important. It's okay. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Chenant. Nice. Partial squared f with respect to x, y, same as partial squared f with respect to y, x. The next partial derivatives are the same. Hmm? 
Now let's solve example. Example one. I use my hand to clean up the bag. Glad to see you. So here, let's look here. So some action. Now we're giving a function f of x y cos three x squared plus x cube y or y. So A, we find partial square F of the square of the square x to y. So this is the same as del partial of the square the first one x into by partial F of the first x x to y. Right. So board mass, board mass. Bracket first, so you take what is in the brackets. You get it. Okay. So here, partial f with respect to x, x y. Or you can just write partial f with respect to x. It's correct. Is that okay? Yeah. So when differentiate partial with respect to x, it means that here, any letter apart from x is treated as well. It's a constant. So here, this is 3x squared. So I differentiate 3x squared. The 2 will come and multiply the 3. Is that okay? So that's 6x plus. This is a product of x and y. So what should I do? The y is a constant. So this is a product. I won't touch it. I differentiate all. x cubed. I'll get all. 3x squared. Then plus. I'm doing partial with respect to x. So this is a case, and this is also a case, and this is a case, and get zero. Then you want to pay for y squared, get zero, partial with respect to x. So my partial f with respect to x, x, y, is 6x plus 3x squared y, like this. Now, my partial squared f with respect to x squared, x y is down partial with respect to x 
And look here, what is the bracket? So we are going to put this one here. You get it? Yeah. So I love the passion. Says x plus 3x squared y. So here, we differ partially with respect to y. Hmm? Partially with respect to y. So, difference is partial with respect to y. What do we get? Partial squared f with respect to x squared xy. Is that okay? So, we are dipping partial with respect to x. Seems that any letter apart from x is treated as constant. So, this is a value, this is a value, this is a constant. So, the difference is x, you get 6 plus. So, when you pay x, you get 1, 1 times 6. And then, and then 3 is a constant, y is also a constant. So, you can 3, 3 y is okay. Different x squared, what do you get? 2x. So, here our Partial square f will square to x squared. It's x plus two times x x y. That's it. And the next one say that we should find on f y y. That's partial square f with respect to y squared. This is a notation. So even this one, partial squared f will square to x squared x y. You can rewrite it as f. Then look at the denominator. A square so first one x second one x then x y right there's another notation notation for partial derivative it was the second partial derivative yeah so b So let the key B. B said our F Y Y and a point one one one. So this is the same as Partial square f with respect to y square one one. There it is. So first and foremost, so this is a partial with respect to y. There f there y one one. So first and foremost, what mass? No. First and foremost, we have to find. Partial or squared f with respect to y squared x y. So first thing foremost, foremost, we find partial squared f with respect to x squared x y. Before we put in the point, you get it? Yeah. So the square f with respect to x squared x y x y is all the f x the f x x y like this. So board mass. Bracket first. So what do you get? The f will respect to of x x y. Hmm? Oh, the f will respect to y. Oh, sorry. So partial squared f will respect to y squared x y. Sorry. 
So let's one square and one square to y square. Then x y. square to y then x is a square to y and so on so then f would a square to y that's y what do we get we are different here partially or the fetch y it means that anything apart from y is treated as well Constant. So this is a constant. X squared is a constant. So I define a constant. I get what? Zero. Plus. Here I'm defining partial with respect to y. Look at the denominator. So x cube is a constant. So x cube. Now I define y. Y. I'll get what? One. So times one. You get it. Plus. I'll define four y squared. I'll get what? Eight y. So this is partial f with respect to y, x, y equals to x cubed plus a y. So now we have to come and find this one. Hmm? So partial squared f with respect to y squared, which is partial with respect to y. So this, do of this will pay this. Hmm? Let me put it here. So that's x cubed plus 8y. So here, what do we get? So here, what, what do we get? Partial square f y x y x y. This will give us what with respect to y. So once we are defining with respect to y, it's it's a it's a cancel, it's case and cancel. When I define that again what is zero plus when I differentiate what eight y is okay, I'll get what, eight. So even there is no point. There is no there is no point. So partial square f with respect to y. Hmm? If the x y is what is eight. So it's independent of the point. So this tells us partial square f with respect to y square. That one one. Okay, there is no x or y where you should put it. It's also two eight. Mm -hmm. If there is maybe x or y, then you sort in the values of x and y. Hmm? Now, let's go to the third one. The C. C is what? Partial squared x, y, x, y. And channel, these two get the same. Hmm? Want to show. So this is down with respect to x. Now let's do 1d, 1 or partial. With respect to f. This is with respect to y, x, y. Like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So here, board mass. Mm -hmm. Like F S. So partial F with respect to Y. X Y. Different to respect to y, so this is zero. Then this is one. One times the s cube is what? 
x cube for y squared equation what do you get y like this partial f with respect to y x y is x cube plus h y so let's go ahead find partial squared f with respect to x with respect to y or partial with respect to x now what is in the bracket is now this okay so x cube plus h y that is and now we are dipping partial with respect to x so y is a cancer which is also a cancer and you can see that I get zero so partial squared f with respect to x y x y this check here denominator is x so anything which is not x depends you go to zero so you think x cube what do you get 3 x squared plus zero 3 3 x squared that's it now let's go to the last one that's but not the least hmm? Hmm. So even we can this answer we can write it somewhere. Let me put it here three x squared. Hmm? Let me close it. D. Partial squared f with respect to y x x y. This is what you can the first d partial with respect to this one y. You get it? Then d and then f. This one is the x x y. So what mass? Bracket face. Hmm. So what is the bracket is? Partial f with respect to x plus y. And here, what do we get? Partial f will respect to x. It means that we are looking partial with respect to x. So any term above x is we are cancelling. So this will be the sense x plus. Then this y is a cancel. So how many people? One time. Now they are four. Oh, the people is very bad. Then. With respect to x, so this is what 4 is a cancer, y squared is a cancer because they do not tell it, it's okay. So this will give you 0. So partial f with respect to x, x, y will give you 6x plus 3x squared y. Now let's take the whole of this. So partial. Square F or the straight one. And the YouTube, do they ban that? School internet. School data. School data. Maybe you go to this first. Uh -huh. Then the bracket. What is the bracket? Yes, so you put it in the bracket. You get it? 6x plus 3x squared y. So now we are different partial with respect to y. F x x y. Hmm? So let different your partial with respect to y. With respect to y, think that any type of y is treated as cancer, so we all this cancer. So, if it says x, I'll get 0 plus 
and here I'm giving partial with respect to y. So I want temporary one. This is a constant. X squared is also a constant. 3x squared. And I'll differentiate to a y. I'll get a 1. So this is, I'll say I'll square f with respect to y. x, y, go 3x squared. Are you seeing that? Are you seeing? Hmm? So the channel for your own votes. You get it. Now let's go to the change view. Hello. Ah, great man, please can I get water? Water. Water. Unless maybe I send. Okay, let me get some for you. Mm -hmm. okay. 1.5. 1.5. Mm -hmm. But please come and check whether it is recorded. Now let's go to the chain rule. Check come on, whether it is recorded. And how many students? And I'm patronized. Back was a call. Hmm. Seven minutes plus two, forty, or forty minutes. Type one. Here. It equals to f of u being weight. U equals to gene of x, y. V equals each of x, y. And if H and G and differentiable functions, then my advice is that always you should sketch before you write your chain rule. When you sketch, it's very, very easy. Is that okay? Yeah. So this is the sketch. You say z is a function of what? u and v. It means that z depends on what? u and v. Or z has two children. So once, what they say is two, you have to draw two lines. Or z depends on two. Two inputs. And this is the output. So this is a z. And your input are what? u and v. Like this. Hmm? Okay. Then this means that you have room for more z to u of v. So this one goes out, cancel. Then the u is a function of x and y. U also has two children or depends on two x and y. So u you write from you write you draw two lines. X and Y. Like this. Hmm? Yeah. Then V. V also depends on what? X and what? Y. 
So again, depends on x and y. Right? So this is the start. And this is the end. 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 So since our final distinction, and there are two, x and y, we have to use a partial derivative. If our final distinction is one, we use an ordinary derivative. Do you get it? So I can, I can move from z and go to x. From z to x, I can move from z to u, u to x, or z to v, v to x. So this way. This one way is okay. Or z to v, v to x. This another way. So you get it. So all this plus. So here, partial z. I'm starting z and I'm with x. I can also go to y. Let's write for x first. With respect to what? x is equal to. Hmm? This means we are starting z and n and x. But from, from z, I can go to a u or v. So my intermediates are 2. So z also depends on, on 2. So I will say partial. So partial on z with respect to what? u. This means that I've jumped from all. I've jumped from v to u. I'm now here. And from the u, u also depend on x and y too. So this is a partial. So from the u, this is where I'm going. Partial u, I'm going to what x. It should end at x. I'm going to spread the x. So mathematical this cancel. Are we saying? Yeah. Oh, from this plus. Then we are started again. From z, I can go to v, v to x. Are we saying? So the z depends on 2. U and or V. So once you try partial, partial Z, what respect to what? V. You get it? Times this means I'm down to V. Times what? Now from the V also depends on 2. So I'll use a partial. Partial V, what respect to what? X. And X, that's the position of the X part. Hmm? Then we can also write for a y. From z, we can go to the y. And to go to y, go to y, you move to This time we want to go to y. So move from z to u, u to y. So this way. Or z to v, v to y. That way. You get it? Okay. But since our final definition is 2x or y, there is a partial 2. And partial z with respect to y will be. Hmm? Partial z with respect to y. Hmm. So that we should start at z and end at y. Y like this. Hmm? So from the Z, we can go to U or V. U or V. There are two. So once we have one, more than one, you say partial. If it is only one, it's ordinary. Is that okay? So this will be partial Z with respect to what? U times. Is that okay? Then from what? From the U. You have to go to y. But u also depends on what? 2. So it's a partial. So this means we are moved from z to u. So we are here. So partial u, we are n and y to y. Or all, all means plus. Plus. Huh? We have gone back. So come back to z. Z depends on u or v. So now you are going to bring is okay. One depends on two is a partial. Partial z or the respect to v times. Now that we are here, we will go here. Partial v or the respect to y. 
in this uh, partial derivatives. And always the question will bring up the derivative. Is okay? It's not difficult at all. Let me say this. You should be one. You should laugh. See, ish. Shakalu. Example one. Point A partial Z with respect to X B partial Z with respect to Y if Z is equal to U square plus U sine V then u equals to x u to y and v x y So here, look here. Always when you sketch it, hmm, you get a solution. Hmm? Yeah. And the question, the sketch will come from the question. You say we should find what? Partial z with respect to x. If you start at z and then end at where? At x, you should start at z and end at x. So you go to the third point z. The three equations, one, two, three. Which which of them involve the z? Is the first one, obviously. Then you cover the z. You cover what? the z. You ask us how many different variables? U, u, v. How many different? U and V. It is not Z depends on what U and V. That's what two children. Do you get it? Yeah. So here you put your dot here that we are start. Z is okay. And Z what depends on two. So U and V like this. Then this means that you have moved from Z is okay to either U or V. So this equation you cancel out. Hmm? Then you come to U. Now we have canceled this one out. Apart from this, which equation involves U? This, this, this and that. Which one is U? This one. So then you cover the U. How many different variables? X and Y. So it means that you, you draw them in like two. If it is one, you draw one. If it's three, you draw three. So then you draw x and y like this. Okay? Then you cancel this one too. Then you go to vein. Then you cover the vein. How many different are with x and y? So you see. x, y. So now we are going to find our, our partial derivative. Is that okay? So A. From Z we are going to X. So our final destination starts. There is all. And, and, and. Our final destination are two. So this is a partial. That's why the word is partial. So partial. Z with respect to X. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Partial Z with respect to X. 
We are going to x. We can move from z to u, u to x, like this. Or z to v, v to x, like this. Is that okay? So two. Think that you are going to have two terms. So here, from z, you can go to u or v. Z depends on to be the fascia. So fascia of z or respect to what? u. This means we have jumped from u to u. Then we haven't ended because we end at my x. So from the u go to our x, but u will depends on two. Is that okay? So this is a partial. This is why it's ordinary. So partial u or respect x or any plus. Then we have then we have gone back. So z we can go to our vein. But z depends on 2, so we use a partial. So partial of z with respect to what? v times. Is that okay? Then from v, go to x. So v also depends on 2, so it's a partial. So partial v with respect to x equals to 1. Then we look for. Partial z with respect to u, u with respect to x, u with respect to v, v with respect to x. Oh. So here, we take each one. Partial. Partial z with respect to u. Partial z with respect to u means that equation. Equation connecting on z and u, equation connecting z and u. And always it is one equation, equation connecting z and u. Z, u square, u square, v. Have you seen u, u, v, x? U, u, z. Have you seen these two? Yeah, we have u, x, y. Do you have a z? No. So this one out. You get it? You want z and u, this is v, x, y. You don't have any of them. That's where you have z and u. So I you have to use equation one. You have to use this one. You get it. So once I'm dipping partial with respect to u, look at the vein. Vein is a cancer, and veins are affected by our sign. So I differentiate u squared. I get off two u plus. It means that our, this sign vein is a cancer. Sign vein. Then I'll differentiate to u. I get off one. So my partial. Z with respect to u is of 2u plus sine v equation 2. Then we go and pick this one. Partial u with respect to x. No? Then means equation connecting of u and x. U and x. This is z u squared u squared z u squared u u squared u v. We have a u here, but we have x no u x. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Oh, we are going to share. We are share the balance. Like all of you, all of you, so take it, take it. Mm -hmm. Check whether it is no corner. How many students? So partial. U on the spread X. Equation connecting U and X is this one. You can idea U, V, U, Z. You don't have X. You have to use this one. So I'm different partial with the spread X. So look at this. U raised upon 2Y. The 2Y affecting the U. It seems that this is a cancer. So I'll cover U raised upon 2Y. And different X, I'll get 1. You get it. So this is 1 times U raised upon 2Y. What is wrong? You raise a four two y equation three. Then you go and find the next one. Partial z with respect to v. Z with respect to v. Hmm? So here, let me take him further. Excuse me, let me 
taking some water otherwise so here Z with respect to V, same equation connecting Z and V. Z, U, U, V. Have you seen it? So this is Z and V. This is U, X, Y. We don't have any of them. We have V here, X, Y. We don't have the V, so this one. So that U is all a constant, so I depend U to get 0 plus. For this is a product, I'll maintain the U. Then depend sign V, I will cause. V. So this is U cos V equation 4. Then find the last one. Partial V with respect to X. Partial V with respect to X. Equation connecting V and X. Z, U, U, V. We don't have any of them. Hmm? We have V, but we don't have X. U, X. We have A, Y. We don't have the V. We need X. Have you seen it? So it means our thing with respect to what? X. It means Y is a constant. We cover the Y. We say X. What is the Y? 1 times Y is Y. Then we call it 5. Now you put all of them into equation 1. Get it? So plug in. Equations two to five and two. Equation one yields. What do you get? Partial z for the respect of x equals to partial z with respect to u is one. 2u plus sine v times partial u with respect x u with respect x of v raised upon 2y plus then partial z with respect to v is what u Cos V times then partial of B with respect to X as well is Y. Now the the U and V the U and V. U and V, they are intermediaries. Is that okay? Have you seen them? They are in between. So we substitute. This is U and this is V. Oh. So here we substitute. So partial Z or respect to X will be what? 2 U is what? X V 2 Y plus sine v, v is what? x, y times what? v raised to the power 2y plus u u is what? x minus y here hmm? let me bring it here y then v, 2y Cause this one next one. So this is our answer. If you wish you can factorize. Is that okay? This is more difficult. Mm -hmm. So now let's go to the B.
you know, once again, Z depends on what to do and then. Then U depends on X and Y. V depends on X and Y. So D partial Z with respect to Y. What do you get? Z. So we are starting at Z and now Y. So I can move from Z to U, U to Y. So this is one way. Or Z to Z, Z to Y. Another way too. Are you okay? Right. Z depends on two U and so this is a partial. So partial Z with respect to U. And this is a jump from Z to U. I'm going to Y. And U also depends on Y. So I use a partial. Partial U with respect to Y. All means plus. Then partial V with respect to what? V. Is that okay? Then V with respect to what? Y. Before your Y. So you find each one. Partial V with respect to U. Partial Z with respect to U. Is that okay? So it's basically connecting Z and U. Z, U square U, then have you seen it? So Z and U. So U, we have X, Y. We don't have the Z here. Then X, Y. We have, we don't have any of them. So this one, we have the same partial with respect to U. So now this is what X is done. So this will give me 2Y plus. Then I will maintain our sign V. Differentiate U, I get on 1. So this is 2V. Sign V equation 2. Then I'm going to take this one. Partial U with respect to Y. Equation the connecting of U and Y. U, U, V, Z. I have U, I don't have Y. U, X, Y. Have you seen it? I have a Y, I don't have the U. So this one. It means our X is a constant. X and our different exponential function is different from different of the power 2y. You get 2 and then you form the 2u or 2y. So this is 2x u 2y. Right. So I'm going to keep this partial v with respect to v. Partial v with respect to v. Z and all, then Z, U, U, V. Have you seen it? We have U, X, Y. Then we don't have the Z, so it's just one. So this is what U is a constant, so 0 plus. Then I maintain the U independent of sine V. I get on cos V. So this is U cos V. Cool. Then take the last one. Partial V with respect to Y. The patient connecting on Y, V and Y is this one. Hmm? You can V and Y. This is, you don't have V here. Then you don't have the Y here. So once I'm using it with respect to Y, I cover the X. This is a thing that you can Y, I get what? One, one time X is X. I'll put all the room to one. So put in. Equations 2 to 5 to 2. Equation 1 yields. What do we get? Partial z with respect to what? y. This will give us what? z with respect to u is what? 2u plus sine v times partial u with respect to y is what? 2xu 2y plus then partial z with respect to v is what? is u cos v 
times when you compare to y is equal to x. So, so now we substitute. Is that okay? And determine the arrows. We substitute and determine the arrows. So partial z with respect to y will be two u is what u is what x u two y sine v is what x y times u or even we can bring the two u before is that okay can we bring it here two x u two y and times two u is what x u two y plus sine v is what x y minus plus u is what x that is x here x times u is what x squared x squared u two y cos v is what x y so this is the answer pium finish so let's end here. Hmm? Yeah. So we meet tomorrow, four to six. Hmm? Goodbye. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. I'll finish you. Mm -hmm. Take your property. <laughs> So this is the BI and correct Thank you. All right. Let's play it down. I didn't know the name. And that's another column. You can go to one side and then that's it. The more closing to it. Now, let me play it down. But all these logins are only two. I think uh, before I left, there were four. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Why you do some flight? Okay.